wastewater and water quality here because there, there's been a lot of funding, um, a lot of investment in this region. And while a huge chunk of it is in Valdosta, there's another $11 million that other communities have received um, and that are doing good work to make upgrades, to uh, improve their treatment systems, to uh, expand them. And so this, this section gives a quick snapshot of where some of those investments are being made. Um, and then specifically talks about uh, a little, talks a little bit more about uh, the Valdosta investment. Reference. I yeah. like how we had an update on those projects at the meeting yeah. last time. That was good. Um, and just because since you weren't there, uh, we, we had on the Waycross project that they got some funding for. We had a, what I thought was a pretty comprehensive report of pictures and, and uh, uh, explanation of what was actually done for the money down there. So I thought that was good. That's good information. jump in and give that. Emily did a great job she really describing did. the work that's being done. Um, you know, I, 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 or, you know, I don't want to just because we're in town and, and we have somebody here, but I, I, I want to commend Val Austin for uh, always participating in the group and keeping us up to speed. Uh, we, we, we appreciate being kept up to speed on what's going on in Val Austin. Represent everybody that had a project going on um, with these specific types of funding. We did, um, just to let you all know, we did uh, call every um, every county, every municipality to find out if they had specific things going on. A lot of people didn't call us back. <laughs> um, some people you know, did that we had, that um, I had some graduate assistants who, who did this for me. One of the things we were trying to determine is where SPLOS. We're, at, we're currently active uh, primarily, but um, so we did have some you know, conversations with folks uh, all throughout the region, and um, and that was helpful. So so we didn't we didn't just guess and look into databases. We had when people would talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> I like and that's okay. 
Anything else with wastewater? Any, any clarifying things? And I think, you know, Joe, to your point of making sure that we indicate that on the front end, planning for these are, is an important piece of it. And then, you know, making... Planning and planning processes, you know, where you, the depreciation is built in. It just has not. And I think that maybe, maybe two of the CDBG grants were emergency loans to make repairs um, on, on system failures that had to be addressed immediately. And you may be able to get some data that sounds like kind of age and things are in it. So that's, that's the fact that that is an issue that we're in the that the infrastructure Many of the hotel are past, you know, due for upgrades and the funding. It's not hard to build the sky to catch up. Grab the paper sampler. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt no, you. No, that's not. So what we're facing now is, is the fact that any way we put it, that it's just not enough local funding base without some help to catch it up. We've got to have some way. Then a way of building it. It's much easier to get it funded when you don't have to talk yeah. about keeping it up. Though. Yeah, oh, it is. <laughs> but I don't think anywhere, so many of these places, there's just enough capacity to catch it up.